Probably should have used a bigger bowl. Oh my gosh. God, once again, I should have gotten a bigger bowl. Why do I make things so difficult on myself? Hello vlog. I have not picked up the camera like at all today and the sun is already setting so love that for me. But I did manage to wash my hair, put on some makeup. Cool. <laughs> I scheduled a grocery pickup of just a few things that we needed so I need to go get that. I wanted to go before the sunset. I don't know if that's gonna happen though because I am making a late lunch and then I need to put Bennett down for a nap. So we'll see, but that is gonna happen before eight o'clock tonight. <laughs> I was so hungry, so while I wait for my food, I was snacking on these almond flour crackers. These are so good. This is the first time trying just like the sea salt ones. I've tried the cheese and the rosemary something or other flavor, and they're all good. These might be my favorite though. All right, Bennett has been fed and changed and is now down for his nap. And I am just eating some leftovers from yesterday. I'm just putting the final touches on Vlogmas episode two now, which is actually up by the time you're seeing this. And then I'll export and all that and then go pick up groceries. As you can see, I did not make it out before camera battery died and I didn't bring the other one. As I was saying, you can clearly tell it's very dark right now. I am on my way to go get the groceries now. Finally, Ben ended up waking up early, so I had to take care of him and feed him and do all that stuff. The vlog from yesterday just went up, so I'm very happy about that. Also, wearing my super cozy puffer jacket because it's like freezing outside. This is, uh, I think it was BCBG, but I got it at TJ Maxx. Super cozy. Okay, let's go get the groceries. All right, just got back from getting the groceries. Thought I would do a little mini grocery haul for you guys. This isn't like a normal like grocery shop or anything. It was just a few things that we had run out of. So yeah, so we're all out of cheese. So I got some of this shredded Mexican style blend. And then I also wanted to get a block of Parmesan as well, just to like grate on two things. <laughs> and then I love these like little salad kits. They're so great just for like a quick meal. You can like add a protein on top or not or whatever you want. But I just picked these two, the Asian and the sweet kale. I love these ones. Uh, also the Caesar salad one is really good. And then I picked up some more frozen broccoli. I love to have frozen broccoli on hand. It's probably one of my like favorite vegetables. So I just got two bags of the frozen florets. I got some of this tikka masala it's a marinade i guess but it's also a spice paste these like curry pastes are like really nice for just making like a quick sauce and then i actually ran out of coconut milk i used the last can yesterday when i made the yellow curry so i got a couple cans of that also a pantry staple of ours and then this i've actually never tried this before but a friend of mine actually used this nut pods creamer before and really liked it this is the cinnamon swirl flavored though it's an almond and coconut creamer interested to try that out it's so tiny though for how expensive it is but and then last couple things I got uh, another bag of uh, cane sugar because I was all out and I want to make Christmas cookies soon so needed that and then just got several boxes of these little so delicious dairy-free ice cream sandwiches um, these are one of our favorites to have on hand. They're like tiny little sandwiches. So it's just a nice little mini dessert. Philip already <laughs> opened this one like literally as soon as I walked in through the door, he grabbed one. So we love those. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got this Halo Top ice cream too. I wanted to try this one. This is the banana cream pie flavor. This one is their keto series. So there's only like eight grams of net carbs for this whole entire thing. But hopefully that's good. I've had some good Halo Top ones and then some of them are just like not so great. But yeah, that's all that I... I got I'm gonna go ahead and put those things away all right guys so <laughs> there's really not much that happened today so I don't really have much footage but I did do some festive baking so you know what I think I'm just going to insert that here in today's vlogmas welcome to my kitchen <laughs> I have some fruit that is about to go bad so I thought why not make a baked treat I have several apples and some cranberries left over from Thanksgiving so I did what I always do and go to the mother load of inspiration and recipes Pinterest anytime that I'm looking for recipes or recipe inspiration because a lot of times I don't follow like an exact recipe when it comes to cooking I go on there and I search what ingredient that I have and then recipe after that so what I ended up finding was a apple cranberry crisp I thought that would be good this recipe I am looking off of 
Nourished by Nutrition is the name of the website. It looks pretty simple and I have all the ingredients, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna preheat the oven to 350. Here's all the ingredients that you're gonna need. Uh, I've got a mandolin slicer because you have to like slice the apples like somewhat thin and I thought this would be the easiest way to do that. Of course, got the apples and cranberries and you need a lemon and lemon juice, but I don't have that, So, but I do have an orange, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, I need some maple syrup, that's gonna be the sweetener. This dessert has like a crumble topping that goes on top, like that's the crisp part of the dessert. And you need oat flour, but I don't actually have oat flour, but you can obviously make it by just taking oats and grinding them. And I've got butter. You need brown sugar for this, and this is literally like all of the brown sugar that I have, so I'm just gonna also use my cane sugar and mix that together for the topping. And then you also need ground cinnamon, ground ginger, and some salt. I think the recipe calls for like a nine by nine pan or something like that. I'm gonna use this little like pie dish thing. I actually thrifted this. Love finding Pyrex at the thrift store because they're such good quality and last forever. So this is what I'm going to use. So the first step other than preheating the oven is we're going to go ahead and grease this dish with some butter. So I've got my butter here. I'm just going to use like a little brush to put that on. And then since I don't have any oat flour, I'm going to go ahead and make that next by just putting some oats into a food processor. So apparently you need two tablespoons of the oat flour for the filling, I guess to kind of thicken it. And then also half a cup for the crumple topping along with one cup of rolled oats that are whole. Okay, so on to the next job, which is slicing up the apples. All right, all of my fruit is washed. It says you need like five medium apples or so, but I'm just gonna slice as many that will fit into that dish. So I think what I'm gonna do is just slice off the tops of these apples and then mandolin them just whole like this. See how pretty they are whenever you slice them this way? I think this is a good thickness. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw those into a bowl and continue slicing. All right, I think that looks good. So to this, we are also going to add the cranberries. I think it said like two cups. I'm just gonna use what I have. <laughs> so to this, we're gonna add the maple syrup, the lemon juice, or in my case, orange, cinnamon, ginger, and salt. And then we're just gonna toss that all together. Probably should have used a bigger bowl, oh my gosh. Also, this smells amazing. And then the last thing that goes in here is the two tablespoons of oat flour. I guess it's to make sure that it thickens up. There it is in all of its beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the pie dish. Ooh, that looks amazing. Somehow I think I made like the perfect amount. <laughs> so that's what that looks like, looks so good. Actually saved back three of the really pretty ones. So I'm gonna use that on top as like a decoration. Okay, so now the only thing left to do is to throw together that crumble topping. So for the crumble topping, we have a cup of rolled oats, got the oat flour, the sugar, more cinnamon, butter, and some salt. And then you're just supposed to incorporate it all together using a fork or fingers or something. I'm just gonna use what I have here until you get kind of like a crumbly texture. I'm basically just trying to cut the butter into little pieces. God, once again, I should have gotten a bigger bowl. Why do I make things so difficult on myself? All right, I think that's pretty good. So on top of the fruit, it goes. Well, look at those sunbeams coming in, making things look all pretty and aesthetic. Okay. So I just kind of piled everything on top in the middle and then using the spatula, I'm just working it to the sides. And then I'm just gonna take those pretty little pieces and just decorate the top with it. There she is, she is beautiful. I also I'll put a couple cranberries here too to decorate the top a little bit more and make it look really nice. There it is out of the oven looking amazing. These little like apple things that I put on top turn into little apple chips. Okay, I gotta try a little bit. Ooh, that looks so good. The cranberries make the color look so pretty. Okay, let's try this. It smells amazing. Mmm, mm-hmm. The cranberries give it like a really good tartness and then the texture from the crumble. Mm. So good, highly recommend. Mm. Okay, so I hope tomorrow is a little bit better in terms of filming so that I can give you guys like a cohesive video, but I hope you enjoyed today's video nonetheless. I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Bye. And Christmas is my favorite.